Inside Boxing's Throwdown. Our last and final segment, Eric Duran and myself, Aurelio Martinez, we're going to have some fun with this segment. Okay, <clears throat> What we want to talk about is what we're seeing as far as these reality networks trying to capitalize on reality boxing. Okay, um, Is it real boxing? Is it fun? Is it something we can see as comical? Is it something that we can we can uh, grasp as, as uh, professional boxing fans and real boxing fans. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Let's, let's talk about one that we know is going to happen because we know they've been trying to put some in the past, celebrity past, including myself a couple of decades ago. And we'll talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> but anyhow, let's talk about something that looks like it's going to happen and it's going to become reality. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr., okay, and he's going to end up, uh, TMZ, I guess, TMZ Sports uh, reported that uh, they're going to put this reality boxing event uh, together with Floyd Mayweather Sr. and uh, Ruben Guerrero, I think we... Yeah, the, the father of um, Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero, and I think we call him Danny Guerrero. No, past. I call him Daddy. I said Daddy, Daddy Guerrero, Okay, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> but it's Ruben Guerrero, but anyhow... You see them posing in the TMZ promos, showing their uh, muscles, and uh, basically they're showing that, hey, they may be old, but they're still in shape. They've been in boxing uh, uh, for Floyd Mayweather Sr. all his life, and I'm sure Ruben, it's pretty much most of his life uh, boxing around. So, so there's a lot of boxing knowledge there, but <laughs> uh, um, Eric, can, what can we expect from a couple of old and antiquated fighters. Well, I'm not sure if Ruben fought before, but let's just... Yeah, well, here's the thing. It's a mismatch on paper. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather Sr. was a world-class mm -hmm. fighter. I think... I've researched Ruben Guerrero before, and I think he was like 0-2, got stopped in both fights in, back in mm -hmm. his day. Uh, nothing to take away from the guy, but you're talking about... You know, world class fighter, and you can go on YouTube, yeah, and still see Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Senior sparring, sparring, yeah. You know, he I think he has to be between fifty and sixty years. He's old. in his sixties. You know, Floyd's in his sixties. I know him personally; he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> he still has that shoulder roll that he's made famous, and he's in shape. And he's in shape. He's in and shape. he's in the gym every day. He's still training. You know, top level fighters. You know, at his son's gym and other gyms around Vegas, and uh, Ruben has his son. Which, who's a great fighter in his own mind, but it's it's a mismatch. So uh, on paper it's a mismatch, but we're talking. We, we're still we're talking about uh, a guy in his sixties, and I'm not sure how old Ruben is, but he's got to be up there himself. He's in his fifties. He's got to be up there, uh, and 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 I can I can see that you know uh, there's just no way I would be able to get into the ring and do what I did as a youngster and go in there and. and box these 10 rounds of boxing it, it, it just wouldn't happen my, my <laughs> body we're probably gonna see three two minute rounds you know how they used to be doing celebrity boxing type matches uh, oversized gloves i think you'll probably see 12, 12 maybe, even 14, 16, yeah. maybe even 16 ounce sparring gloves um but even so i i think i think uh i think it's interesting that will the public support this i don't know if the public will support it um boxing fans like us will probably watch it just for you know the comedy in it, and it's, they've had this rivalry for the last two years that dated back to when Floyd fought Robert, um, and the way they both talk, who knows? Well, you know who, what? Know, who knows how big it could be? You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say the public is going to accept this, and they're gonna have the general public's gonna have fun with it. Yeah. A lot of the public that don't really, they're not your your boxing gurus. They're not the ones that that live and die boxing. They're not the ones that are in front of their TV watching boxing every weekend. I'm talking about the general public, some that never even saw a boxing match. I think they're going to enhance this. They're going to, they're going to love it. They're going to have fun with it. And I think it, it's going to be a big hit. Mm -hmm. Now, boxing people and fans, I think they're also going to 
accept this. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Before you get hold that thought. Let me tell you why. Because most trainers, most dads, and most of your older boxing fans never been in the ring. They live this fantasy of being in the ring and being able to compete. Okay? So they're going to embrace this because you got a couple of older guys fighting. They're going to see themselves in there. Because be honest with, with you, I train a lot of uh, the fighters in the gym, and the fathers come in, and these fathers are living their own fantasy through their children, which is the wrong thing to do. <laughs> but it happens. And it happens, and it happens more than you can imagine. And it doesn't just happen in so, boxing, though. That's, that's just well, it's sports everything. in even, general. Yeah. Even football. Mm -hmm. I, I have people over here where they force their kids to play football, and they're in front of the TV catching the ball and doing this. They've never stepped on the field before. But I think that's why this is going to be a big hit. I think the TMZ reality show is going to be a big hit. I think it's going to be a huge hit. Like you said, mainstream boxing people will like it. They'll watch it. But I think they're going to write negative things about it leading up to it. Because they're going to think it's a circus act. You, you guys like Dan Raphael. You know, people like that are going to discredit it, make a mockery of it. Well, yeah. But then watch it privately. Sure just to see, it. you know, sure they mean? watch it, I'll and then they'll it. say they didn't watch it. I'm going to watch it. You know what I mean? I, exactly. I'm going to um, watch it. I'm going to have fun with it well, because speaking, yeah, well, okay. Well, speaking of this, before this bout was announced, there was a rumor that George Zimmerman, who should no one should pay and no one should give any face time to or credit to, was going to do the same kind of celebrity boxing match yeah. with whoever chose to fight him. Yeah, and it wasn't a rumor. It was. It was actually. It was actually set and done. It was set and done. But that was one where the public was not mm -hmm. accepting it, and that's simply because we were taught they were they were billing it as a celebrity box out. Now I forget the rapper. It, it, uh, the, that, the problem I had with that was he chose DMX. 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 Well, DMX has been strung out on crack for like thirty years. He's like six two, one hundred and ten pounds, soaking wet. What I was most upset about and why I wanted to see it when it first got announced was another rapper stepped up to the plate. Uh, J.C. on Taylor, a.k.a. The Game, 6'2", 240, said, you know what? Let's do it. And yeah. I wanted you know, and I wanted to see it because I knew J.C. on Taylor was going to get in the ring yes. and he was going to smash George Zimmerman. But, uh, does, it, does, it, does it make a difference? Does it bring any healing? No. But you know what? For what, however long it took him to see, smash George but Zimmerman, what but, but what happens if he don't smash George? He, Zimmerman? he was gonna smash. This is this is Zimmerman got some background in boxing. It don't matter. This is okay. Um, this is okay. He was gonna get smashed. This is whoever Mayweather fights. You know Mayweather's gonna well, win. See, see, here's the J. difference. Jason Taylor was gonna put and, it on. And everyone I talk to tells me just what you're talking about. Okay, it's gonna be. They want to see Zimmerman get smashed. But me, just being a boxing guy, put my private feelings away, and and behind me. There's no guarantee that they're going to go in there and beat Zimmerman. Zimmerman been in the gym a long Maybe time. Maybe DMX. He, 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 uh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, DMX but, might not beat him, but don't, don't forget been... when you get in that when you get in that ring, there's rules. There's rules. Okay, so you got to fight for them rules. Hey, hey J.C. On Taylor grew up on the streets of Compton. He knows how to fight in the street. And he knows how to throw his hands. Okay, and he's six two, two forty. And and then windmills. Uh, if someone that knows what they're doing. Will slide right in there between them windmills. But it happens. But what I, how come he didn't take the fight with J.C. on Taylor? Well, what I'm saying is the public. It had an as adverse effect on the public. First of all, it was billed as a celebrity. George Zimmerman is nobody's celebrity. Exactly. Okay. Number one. So, so you, they started off wrong. Okay. It should have been called the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, if it was DMX, it would have been the bad and the bad. Well, well yeah, but you see what I'm saying? You don't call it a celebrity because how can you give someone like George Zimmerman celebrity status? You can't. Exactly. Okay? So it just started off wrong. Okay. Number number two is everyone would have been watching this to see Zimmerman get beat up. Mm -hmm. There was no guarantee that was going to happen. In any fight. Not not in this fight. Not in any fight. There's no guarantee. You know, I get a kick out of we in the gym and the heat, uh, the tempers flare up and everything. And then all of a sudden you'll say something, hey, come outside. I'm going to kick your butt. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll use the other word, but I'm going to kick your butt. Well, guess what? There's no guarantee you're going to go outside and kick anybody's butt. <laughs> There's no guarantee. Just because you say you're going to kick his butt doesn't mean you're going to go outside and kick his butt. Exactly. So what I'm saying is it was a bad deal. 
me personally, I'm glad it never happened. It was just something that was not not good uh, to put on, uh, whether it be called celebrity status or whatever whatever you want to call it. It was just not good PR, and it was exactly. not good for America. It so let's get let's America. get back to you know this whole thing. Are you a fan of of these type of celebrity boxing type things? You know, I am. I am because it's a way to get frustration. Let me tell you, years ago, and I'm talking, oh early 90s so I'm talking years and years ago you know I, I've been promoting for a long time yes. local shows and back then for those of you who follow <laughs> rock music will know what I'm talking about but just to just to kind of give everyone an idea there was there was two two rock groups and 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 the lead people in these rock groups were having conflict I mean they were actually fighting in hotel lobbies and and talking bad about each other one was Axl Rose uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, Vince Neil and Axl Rose. They just kind of hated each other's guts. Uh, Rose from Guns N' Roses, he, he had nothing good to say publicly. He would degrade him. He was, he was one of them guys where I'm going to uh, kick your butt, you know, I'm going to do this and that. Vince Neil uh, uh, from Motley Crue, on the other hand, didn't have any love for anyone. So I reached out. Now, this is way back. I'm mean, talking 20 years back. I reached out to put that bout together. Mm -hmm. Offered both sides, you know, that that it would be there would be a referee. We're not gonna we're not doing this to get anybody killed. We're just gonna get in there to have these two meet. They've been talking smack. Let's meet your frustration. Let's get it over with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oversized gloves. I was talking maybe 12 ounce, 14 ounce gloves to put this. Well, actual roll side. Embrace the thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, I couldn't even get to talk. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vince Neil. I'm sorry, Vince Neil. Vince Neil embraced the the notion. I couldn't even get close to talking to anyone about Axl Rose to even give me consideration. So guess what? The guy that was talking all the shit was the guy that wouldn't step up to the plate. Exactly. So you know, and and, and whether it was just stopped at his office or his management or whatever you want to call it, whatever it is, but. Back then, celebrity bouts are good for the public. Mm -hmm. They they are good for the public, and they they've got to be done right. I mean, obviously, uh, celebrity bouts are very good, and I'm I'm a I'm a fan for it, and I wish more of it would happen. And keep in mind, Zimmerman is not a celebrity fight. Exactly, Zimmerman has no 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 business anywhere. Just let him go off and and, and crawl under a rock and 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 disappear. Okay, but. But other 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 conflicts between there, rock groups or or is there any celebrities in particular that you would like to see in an actual? You well, know, let me physical? let me tell you let me tell you something. When you get when you get into the rap, you know how there's always conflict mm -hmm. within raps. Can you imagine if they, if there was a, a a way that these guys can get in the ring? Oh, there it is. They can do it, but they know if they lose, that that's gonna you know that's gonna mess so. up their 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 ego, their sound. Let me you tell know? you something. Losing in the ring brings out respect. It's just it it just does it it's a way of life okay put away the gun you know and you know yeah. who's a, a classic you know a rapper who is is famed for being in the gym and in a respected gym is eminem he's trained with emmanuel stewart at the cronk gym and from what reports is he's a pretty good fighter well you know what would be good if i see he he couldn't fight uh, uh angel man freddy but here you got a couple of guys that beat up the girls so let's get him in the ring you know uh, mm -hmm. but things like that I'm, uh, eminem he's, he's in shape he'll be good on there uh there's a lot of them. So I mean, any of you celebrities out there, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you want to do this and we'll do it right, give me a call. I promote local shows. I do these shows. We got, we got big sponsorship that would that would support that idea. And so give us a call here or leave me an email at insideboxing.com and I'm gonna give you my number if you guys wanna call me seven two zero two nine seven seven six five four. That number again seven two zero. Two nine seven seven six five four. I can make it happen. And I'm gonna give you my number for the after party. Seven two zero two five one one seven two nine. I'll pick you up from the airport too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we just wanted to bring that up. So look forward to that fight. Uh, um, Ruben Guerrero, Floyd Mayweather Sr. I think it's gonna be big fun. So let's kind of we'll keep you posted on that. See how it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know if they have a date. They set. don't have a date set yet. Yeah, but but I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. So with that, we're going to leave you guys. 
And until the next time, keep them hands up.